In this tutorial, I'll be introducing you to organ styles, one of the most useful features of the Physis organ system. Each style stores a different voicing of the organ which organists might want to use for playing repertoire from schools such as the French Romantic or the German Baroque. When a voicer configures a new style, they'll usually have a clear concept of the sound they want to achieve and use voices that complement each other. For the beginner though, it's probably best to stick with families of voices having similar characteristics. Rather like cooking, I suppose you'll need ingredients that create a satisfying whole. It takes a bold, experienced and innovative chef to combine wildly contrasting ingredients and achieve a successful result, so we'll stick to fairly simple recipes for now. That could mean, for example, using stops that make up an English-style diapason chorus, some complementary flute stops, and a group of English reeds. And to that end, we're going to edit one of the user-modifiable styles and begin to voice a diapason chorus on the grate. We need to start by making sure we've selected the style user1, which starts out being an editable copy of the preset English voicing. So select the style menu, and pick user 1. We now need to choose some voices to begin modifying this style. So we go back to the home screen and select the voices menu. You'll see a display with three headings. The top one, volume level, allows you to adjust the loudness of each stop. Edit parameters allows you to modify voicing parameters and Alternative Voices allows you to select the voice that sounds when a stop is pulled. So we're going to select Alternative Voices here and now you see a list of the organ divisions. In this case it's Pedal, Great and Swell, but that may be labelled differently in your area. For example, the manuals may be labelled Manual 1 and 2. I'm going to select the Great division. And now you see a list of stops starting with the lowest pitched. And what's shown here will depend to some extent on the configuration of your instrument and the stops that are available. The pitch, for example 16 or 8 foot, is shown as a number after the stop name. And they should all be in the order of the stops on your instrument, but they may have different names. So there's the double diapason 16 foot at the top, open diapasons 1 and 2, and so forth. We'll scroll down to something that looks like the first 8-foot diapason voice and press Enter. The physical stop concern may come on and its light flash as you select it in the list. On some organ models you can hold down or out the physical stop concern to highlight the voice to be modified. And what you see now is a list of all the alternative voices that can sound when this stop is used. Make sure the stop's on or pulled so that you can play it. And by using the arrow keys to scroll through the list, you'll see a number of alternatives for this open diapason voice. And you can see that some of them look like English names, and then there's a prestant here, a number of additional prestants for a French voicing. So we're going to go up and select a particular English diapason. There's open diapason 1B there or 1A, which is the one we had before. I think we'll go for 1B in this case. And once you've found one you like, you press Enter to select it, and that replaces the current voice with the new one. Using the procedure we've just gone through, you can now go back and modify some more voices to build up the diapason chorus. So we'll select Voices again on the home screen, and then Alternative Voices, and then Great again. Now we're going to scroll down to find the four foot principle in the list. There it is, principle 4A, and we'll press Enter to select it. You can also hold down the relevant stop tab until it's selected, until it flashes, and go through the same process as before to find a suitable English four-foot diapason. So we'll have a listen to this one, 4A. 
try 4B, 4C. And while you do this, you'll want to try playing it together with the 8-foot diapason that you chose previously to test the combined effect and find a complementary 4-foot. So we'll turn the 8-foot diapason on as well. And we'll try that together with a number of these different principles. I quite like principle 4C there. So we'll press enter to select that and replace the existing voice with this new one. At a basic level, you can adjust the voicing by altering the relative volume levels of the voices you've just selected using the volume section of the voices menu. So we go into the voices menu here, select volume level and select great again. And we're going to try adjusting the level of the four foot principle that we just selected. You can see that it's currently set to a level of plus six dB. It's there at the top of the list. Plus 6 dB is the highest level that's possible in this system. We'll have a listen to that together with the 8-foot diapason that we previously selected. But it's possibly a little bit high for this new voice, so we'll try reducing the level by a couple of decibels down to plus 4 dB. Maybe a little bit less. that's possibly a more appropriate level for this particular stop. When you make changes to a saved style, such as selecting an alternative voice or changing a voicing parameter, the Physis system will save your changes automatically. If you turn the organ off and on again or go back to playing, the altered style will still be available. So you've begun to learn how to voice an organ style using Physis. In another tutorial, we'll take a look at some of the more detailed voicing parameters for an individual pipe sound.